Okay, now we are going to solve problem 4.4 .4 from Sadiku book and the question is use linearity to determine phi i0. So i0 is the current that passed through the 6 ohm resistor. Uh, you actually can find this easily by doing KCL or KVL. Yeah, but we are asked to use linearity. And what that does mean? Uh, we use some other values to calculate this circuit, to analyze this circuit, and then convert it into 9, 9 ampere 1. So, let's assume that this current source is 1 ampere. So, initially, it will be 1 ampere. So, we find the I0 when this is 1 ampere. And then we multiply it by 9 because 9 ampere is 9 times 1 ampere, right? You can actually use value of this 3 ampere and then you multiply it by 3 and so on, but maybe 1 is easier. So I will use nodal analysis here and I will name this as node A, this as node B, and here in the bottom is our ground. And I will assume the direction of the currents. So here we have this, this, and this. Okay, we have all the currents going. And yeah, this one obviously going this. So let's do KCL at node A. So we will use KCL at node A. And remember that we assume that the current is 1 ampere. So let's do that. And what does KCL say? KCL is the sum of current that goes in is equal to the sum of the current that goes out. The current that goes in is only this one. This one. So it is 1 ampere. Remember that it is the assumption, not the real value. So we have 1 ampere is equal to this current here that going down so it is VA divided by 4 and then this current that going to the left plus current that going to the left so VA minus VB divided by 2 okay now let's multiply both sides by 4 so we will have 4 is equal to VA plus 2VA minus 2VB. So 3VA minus 2VB will equal to 4. And let's have this as equation number 1. And then we will use nodal analysis in this node. So we will use KCL at node B. So we'll have KCL at node B and the current that goes in is this current that going to the left. Only that. So VA minus VB divided by 2. And the current that goes out is this one and this one. So I will start at this one, I0. So I0 is equal to VB over 6. And then this one, it is equal to VB over 3. Okay, and we can rewrite VB over 3 as 2 VB over 6. So we can add this one. It's equal to 3 VB divided by 6. And now we can multiply both sides by 6. So I will have 3 VA minus 3 VB is equal to 3VB. Then I can move this 3VB to the left hand side. So I will have 3VA minus 6VB is equal to 0 or VA minus 2VB is equal to 0. Or we can rewrite this as VA is equal to 2VB. 
let's name this as equation number two so we can plot equation number two into equation number one so va is equal to 2 vb so we will have 3 multiplied by 2 vb minus 2 vb is equal to 4 and we can calculate this into 6 vb minus 2 vb is equal to 4 and 4 vb is equal to 4 and vb is 1 fold. 1 fold. So vb here is 1 fold. vb is 1 fold when this is 1 ampere. Okay. Now let's use linearity principles. So when the current source is equal to 9 ampere. So this VB will be 9 times 9 times the current VB. So here is 1 volt. So VB when it is 9 ampere current source is equal to 9 multiplied by 1 volt. This is linearity principle which is 9 volt. 9 volt here. So when this current source is 9 ampere, Vb is 9 volt. And we can use that fact to calculate I0. So let's calculate it here. So I0 is equal to Vb divided by this resistor. So 6. And when the current source is 9, Vb is 9 volt. So we will have 9. And we divide it by 6 ohm. And 9 divided by 6 is 1.5. And the unit is, because Vb is volt and 6 is in ohm, the unit is in ampere. So here is the I0 calculated using linearity principles. And that's all. And point out to me if I made any mistakes in the calculation in the comments. And thank you for watching.